Well, we're live tonight at the Newport Pavilion, a very wide open, fairly new shopping center. It's growing. It's very busy here throughout the day, but we're finding out it's also very popular for people to pull in here and shoot up heroin. And it's happening at all hours. This is the Newport Pavilion Shopping Center after sundown. But this is the last time you will see nighttime video in this story. Because police say the heroin problem here is a daytime problem. You, you wouldn't know it. It looks so benign here. Catherine Cunningham says her purse was stolen right out of her car while she was returning a shopping cart. The guy that works the carts here at the market said it happens a lot. Did the police tell you anything about it? They were the ones who indicated to me that it probably was like heroin. There is a heroin problem. The I team dug through hundreds of pages of police reports going back to the beginning of 2012. We uncovered more than 30 incidents involving heroin use in this shopping center. Like Joshua Schaefner, who according to police passed out hanging halfway out of his parked car with a spoon in his right pocket and a syringe in his left. Officers say Brian Barry was spotted near the Kroger bathroom with a fresh track mark on his arm, with fresh blood still coming out. The report says Barry admitted to using heroin. And Newport investigators say Alicia Glenn was busted, trying to sell $280 worth of the opiate to a police informant. They're here, they do it, and they're gone. Many of the heroin arrests have been made by this man, an undercover Newport narcotics officer. They're shooting up before they go into work. You know, they, they're trying to get their high before they go to their jobs. This investigator catches many of the drug users in broad daylight, sitting in their cars, shooting up in plain sight. Are they so focused? That yes, it's so focused, them? they don't even look up. And that's why majority of the people that we actually have caught here is, it's, it's, I hate to say it, but it's kind of easy. So why is the shopping center such a hot spot for heroin use? Well, police say it may be simply a matter of location. 471 runs right in front of the complex, a major artery for rush hour traffic. And within sight, Cincinnati, where investigators say a lot of the heroin may be coming from. Several police reports seem to back this theory up. Suspects telling police they bought the drugs in Cincinnati, then pulled over in Newport to shoot up. They don't want to wait to get to get their high. They they paid a lot of money for what they get and they want to get it, they want to get it now, so they pull into here. And investigators say the drugs can lead to other crimes, like what happened to Catherine Cunningham. You wouldn't think it would happen in a lot like not, this. No, I would not think it would happen here. It's like, I mean, especially, you know, midday, it's like your soccer moms. And if you've ever been out here to Newport Pavilion, you know there are many businesses here, and we tried to talk with them for this story, but nobody could go on camera. However, Kroger released this statement saying, nothing is more important to us than the safety of our associates and customers. We will continue to work with police to address these issues so that the entire neighborhood remains a safe place to live and to shop. We're live tonight in Newport. Jason Law, 9 on your side.